Right, these are an example of the oak bars that we would use on the farm for our oak aged cider. And I'll just tell you about the history of the barrels. My father and my uncle Frank years ago used to process apples and there was no plastic barrels in and apples would have been peeled and sliced and put into the wooden barrels in brine and then would have been brought around the different factories. So we started in 2014 to see where we could get our hands on some of the barrels. So we went to one of the local distilleries in Northern Ireland uh, where we used to supply the barrels and when we were getting the barrels they were able to tell us that we were getting some of our own barrels back after 33 years. So then we've done our second fermentation in the barrel and the cider stayed in the barrel for over a year. This is our oak aged cider. Brings out a lovely dark colour. The flavour in it, it's different, it's dry. Uh, some people will taste the, the whiskey, uh, but it's more of the, the oakness taste. It, uh, and it's a lovely flavour to it. If a person likes their dry wines, they do like the, the dry cider. It goes down very well with like cheese and crackers, so it does crisps. <laughs> with the fireside in the, in the winter evenings. Cheers. <laughs>